Oh, hi there. Iron Melon here, as you can see, aka Torley Linden, and I've gotten a lot of requests over time to show an easy way how to play Parcel Music. It's pretty simple once you know how. There's a few principles that apply to a variety of situations. You'll notice right down here, first of all, there's this play button, and that's what will play it. You can also control volumes by clicking this. And by the way, before starting, make sure that you're able to play sound and you're hearing sound. And if you're not sure, sometimes what I do is I start an external program like WinApp or iTunes and play music there just to make sure it's coming through, you know, and that my speakers aren't turned off or anything. Well, we can close that. And let's go up into the edit menu and preferences, first of all. Because right here in the audio and video tab is what you want to make sure. See, that's the same volume controls, but in addition to that, you also have streaming preferences. You want to make sure this is checked for sure. Play streaming music and automatically play media can be helpful as well. So let's OK that. And you need to be on a parcel of land either you owned or that if it's group owned, you have permission to modify. Let's go up here. You have permission to modify the media stream. So it's right here in About Land Media tab. And this is for movies, this top section here. It can also be used to play music and web pages and other cool stuff. But if you want music by itself, use this one. You can achieve some weird creative artistic effects by mixing both if you play two music streams at once. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just go with this. And we already have a music earl here. But let's start fresh. And I'm going to blank that. And let's hop over to a uh, web browser, because that's where we can get some URLs to paste in. So right now, we're in a standard web browser. I'm just using Mozilla Firefox. And I'm going to show a very easy example of getting an MP3 to play. And this isn't a streaming live MP3. It's just a regular MP3 that's on a web server. If you go to torley.com forward slash music, I have about over 200, 230 free songs you can play. And you can use any of them if you make machinima or anything. You can use them for commercial purposes too. All I request is that you let me know. Give me a heads up. <laughs> and so what we can do here is we can right click any of them. And then we can go ahead and copy the link location. Let's see what's a fun one. Uh, Tomcat's a fun one. So right click that and copy link location. And the formats that are supported are MP3, MP2, and Ogvorbis, although in the practical basis of it all, you'll probably be seeing a lot of MP3s more than anything else. So let's flip back over to Second Life. And right now, OK, we've got Second Life up, and it's still looking at the media stream here. So the Music Earl, we can go ahead and edit menu and paste that in, because we copied it, remember? And it's right there. It ends in MP3. And then I think there's a blank space at the end. I just want to make sure that's, oh, it's not MP3, just Press return, make sure there's no blank spaces or other odd characters, because that will glitch it up. And so now that's on, we can go ahead and I can play it. Dun, 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 dun. And you can go ahead and adjust the music level, make it softer. Make sure if you're not hearing anything that you have it at a reasonable level. So we can stop that, and that works. And that would have played and should have played automatically if I was just crossing onto this parcel, but it's because I deliberately turned it off before. All right? So something big you're going to be interested in, likely, is playing an uh, internet radio stream. Whether you're in a club or at home, you want to have an ongoing stream of music, because the problem with standalone MP3 files is someone starts streaming it once they get on the parcel, but that means people who get onto a parcel at different times are going to hear different things, and when it ends, it ends. It's not going to loop. That's a current limitation. So let's go back into Firefox, and I'll show you all about, let me see here, Whoop, that's my downloads folder. And let me go, let's see here. There we go. And so now what we're going to want to head to is a place called DIFM. Now this is a wonderful place that has a lot of streaming electronic music radio stations. There's a wide variety. And don't worry, if you're not into techno and stuff like that, I'll show you another example of other sorts of things. So we got diverse tastes, right? <laughs> I like a lot of music myself. So if we're, we're to scroll down the list here. We're going to notice that the left hand right here. It says, it shows a Winamp icon, the little lightning bolt. And this is the MP3, because as you can see in the lower left, it says that's what it uses. And these two, you don't have to worry about this. These are other formats. And those will not play in Second Life. So if we were to take future synth pop, now here's what we want to do. Right click, and you can't just copy the link location. You need to get a link from inside of it. So let's go ahead and save link as. And I'm just going to pull this in here so you can see that clearly. 
and OK, we'll save it. And so it downloads the playlist file right here. And then if I open my downloads now, you notice it says right there. OK, so right click and open the containing folder. The important thing here is just to see the folder where it's downloaded. Because then you can double click it to play it in your regular MP3 player, like that. So it's playing right now in iTunes. Okay. And we can go to right click it and get info. Because now this shows the true address of what you need to paste into Second Life. Okay. And from there you can edit the URL. It's there. And you can, I'm just doing control C to copy, OK it. And back in Second Life, and then just clear this one out. Just select all and delete it. And paste this one in, control V. And then press return there, enter, I mean, or <laughs> return if you're on a Mac, and press play. Seek me. Yeah, we're grooving. You can get up and start dancing with it. Yeah, Iron Melon. <laughs> Headbang to the Muzak. OK, so that's pretty funny. Still going away, grooving with the music. Uh, what we can also do, though, if you use I, uh, Winamp, which is very popular on Windows, then you can also see that in Winamp by, let me see here. Let me go back to Output and right click that and then open with Winamp instead. I also have Winamp here. And I what I wanted you to be. And you can see it's right here. And then Winamp, the method is to right click and then you can go to View File Info. And that's the same address right there. If you don't have either of these, you have another MP3 player, similar principles will apply. But in any case, if you're in a Mac or a PC, you can right click and you can go to open with a text editor, like Notepad, like WordPad, like Text Edit on a Mac will work. So Notepad. And see right here, this is the address you want to copy. OK? Keep in mind that files ending in POS will not play directly in Second Life. You need to extract the address just like this. And then it'll work fine. So let's go back briefly into doo -doo -doo, Firefox. And I'll also show you a couple of other great examples. They're all linked. They're friends of each other. Sky.fm has a lot of great uh, rock music, pop music channels. As soon as they load here, it's taking a bit. There we go. Layout similar. And like that, you, there's a lot of streams to choose from. Just choose the, the Winamp one. And the higher quality one are generally better if you have the bandwidth. I mean, this is ridiculously low, so you can probably handle that, provided you're on reliable broadband. And then again, you can scroll down and see jazz, 80s hits, and all sorts of things, lounge, urban jams. If you need even more choices and you're big into rock music, Radio Paradise. So let's go into rock radio. Here we go. And then you see there's even more addresses here on the left. And this one is probably what you want to use. And notice the suffix here is M3U. And again, notice that if you try to copy that and play it directly in Second Life, right here, notice how that doesn't work. So POS and MP3U files, you have to extract the address. So let's stop that. And let's go back there. And to grab this address, let's right click and save link as, just like we did before. It's the same thing. And save it. And let's go back to Windows Explorer, where we have the output folder. And then you can right click this and open with the text editor, notepad. And then you can just pull out the address right there. I know it looks a little convoluted, but it begins in HTTP and ends in this number. That's how you often see it. So just that. And then edit menu, copy. And then let's go back in a second life once more. And then clear that and paste this one in. And that will work. Yeah. And it's time to get down. Our melon's gonna get down. Ha <laughs> ha. And here's hoping you get down <laughs> too in Second Life and play your own music. Enjoy and have a delightful time rocking, grooving, raving, and moving all around. Parcel music for the win. Oh, one more thing. If you ever want to hide the address from other people, it's not a foolproof deterrent. There are ways around it, but you can hide music. Oh, this is useful if you're a live DJ and want to save your bandwidth. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>